we're going to discuss resizing a design. There are several ways that you can resize. Uh, once a design is on the screen, you need to, number one, select the entire design. You can certainly do that under Edit and Select All, or a shortcut is Control A. So just by holding down the Control key and clicking A, you will select the entire design. Now, it comes up with a, a box around it. Uh, within this box now, you have a series of squares. If you want to size the entire design proportionately, come to any one of the corner squares. Once you get on top of it and you've got those two arrows, left click and just drag. And you'll see that you will proportionally size the design both in height and in width release. And it will re regenerate the stitches of that design. All right. A couple of other ways. We'll go ahead and undo that. Once again, after it's, it's completely selected, on the sides now, both the left and right, we can now stretch. Uh, um, to make it wider. So I can come on here once I have those two arrows, once again left click and just stretch and you'll see that I'm not affecting the height, I am indeed affecting the width. And the same thing holds true, we'll go ahead and undo that. The same thing holds true for the middle, top and bottom squares. We'll come on there and simply get to two arrows. Now I can change the height and not affect the width. Very helpful tool. You can also, uh, with this same box around it, you'll see down here this, this blue little circle. Once I get on top of that, you'll see that I have this little circular arrow. By left clicking, I can now rotate the design and put it in any rotatable position that I may want to. So if I want to shoot it in the sky, release, and there it is. There's also one more way that you can uh, uh, resize the design. Once again, it's all selected. Simply come over here to the pro property screen, scroll all the way over to the transform tab, click on transform. You'll now see my width and my height. I can change it by putting in just another width. I can put like six inches up there. It will change it. It will stitch process as long as regenerate stitches is selected. Certainly if you want it to affect both the width and the height at the same time, you want to have selected maintain aspect ratio. If you want to just do the width, turn off the maintain aspect ratio and it will affect just the width. You can also transform it based on percentage. So you can go up a certain amount of percentage. It will affect it. It will indeed regenerate the stitches. You also have rotating functions here, flipping it horizontal, vertical, or you can certainly do it by uh, percentages. So very easy to resize and rotate. Hugs and stitches to you.